I speak unto thee this day, I say, seek to be true, seek to be faithful unto me. That is, seek to walk in the way that I offer, the way that I give, for it is the way of eternal life. And I say, if you truly will seek to please me, then it is me, the living God, who will be ever present unto thee. For I say, when you learn obedience to me, I say, make it your practice to continue in the same. For I say that I, the living God, never called my people to be far from me, to be estranged from me, to be separated from me. Yet I say, when my people will walk in disobedience, I say they are far from me. For I say that I, the living God, never called my own to be disobedient, but I say that I called them to walk uprightly in me. And yes, I have called them to be ever strengthened, directed, and guided forth in my way. Now I say it is me, the living God, who is indeed the way of righteousness, the way of truth, and the way of mercy provided. And I say, if you will be coming forth in that way, then you are found well pleasing unto me. That is, you can be guided, directed, corrected, and instructed each day by me. And yes, you can be given the blessedness, the truth, and the mercy that I provide. Now I say, in a way we're a vile, a corrupted, and evil generation, I say, be thankful, ever thankful unto me. That is, be thankful for the truth, the light, the strength, the mercy of who I am. Be thankful that I privilege thee to walk uprightly in me. And I say, when you look upon what it is that I, the living God, do give to my own, I say it is the way of life eternal. But I say, when men are far from me, they have nothing awaiting them except damnation and hell. Now I say, this day that I, the living God, am giving the call to repentance, revolution, because yes, indeed, men and women are needy of the same. That is, they are needy of repenting, they are needy of walking uprightly and being directed by me. And I say they are needy of pursuing the course that are set before them, which is the way of eternal life. For I say, when you will look upon what it is that I do, I say that I bring forth life. Now I say this day that I, the living God, am well aware that many are encumbered and overwhelmed by spirits of death and destruction and damnation of their souls. That is, they are encumbered by the demon forces that they have given themselves unto. But I say it is me, the living God, who is reaching out in mercy, giving forth the call to repentance, revolution, to any and all who will pay heed to the same. And I say it is by my mercy that men are redeemed, brought in out of the darkness, and given the newness of life that I provide. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do look upon the wretchedness, I look upon the misery, I look upon the slavery that men and women are in. And yes, indeed, when a man will cry out in his heart to be set free, to make his changes and truly be repentant unto me, then I say it is me, the living God, who will hear such a man. And yes, I will extend loving kindness and mercy and blessedness to any who will truly repent. Therefore, I say, be thankful for the call to repentance, revolution, for I say it is the call to life. For I say, when men are repentant, then they are able to live in the newness of life that I provide. But I say, when men are bound in trespasses and sins, when they are overwhelmed in darkness and evil and iniquity, then I say that their hearts are far from me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, never called you to walk afar off from me, but I say that I've called you to be uplifted in me. And I say that I've called you to be thankful each day that you are given my light, my truth, and my mercy always. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness, the way of all truth, and the way that is mercy provided. And it is me, the living God, who will ever uplift, direct, correct, and guide forth the ones who cleave to me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, am giving forth the call, and I say you are meant to hearken unto me. That is, you are meant to be ever guided, coming forth in the blessedness, the truth, and the light. For it is me, the living God, who is able to give to you the same. And it is me, the living God, who is well able to direct you in the way of my righteousness, the way of my truth, and the way of my mercy revealed. For I say it is me, the living God, who is indeed the one who is able. Now I say this day that I, the living God, never ever intended that men would be estranged from me, that they would walk afar off from me, that they would be taken in the way of fools. Yet I say there are multitudes who live and die and perish as fools, because they have given themselves to the pride of life, they have given themselves to contempt for me, and I say they have given themselves to high-mindedness and vain conceit. And I say those very factors have made them drunk and intoxicated on how great they are, and what fools they have become, for I say they end in hell through all 
of their high-minded conceit. Now I say this day, do not be of a high mind, but I say be of a humble mind before me. That is, do not think of yourselves more highly than you ought to think, but I say be thankful to be directed by me. That is, be thankful to be ever guided, instructed, and given the light upon the path, for it is me, the living God, who is able to give to you the same. And it is me, the living God, who will be directing, correcting, and guiding you forth always. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do intend that my own people would be made glad, ever thankful to believe upon me. That is, I do intend that the ones who serve me would do so with gladness and rejoicing day by day. And I say that I do intend that the ones who are mine would be ever directed, corrected, and given the hope always. For I say when a people will give themselves to me in obedience and be ever daily repentant before me, walking in the humility mind that I provide, then I say they are strengthened each day. Now I say this day that I, the living God, will open the door to the man, the woman that keeps on knocking and calling unto me. For I say, even though it may not be according to my convenience, I say that I open because they are persistent and insistent in their desire towards me. But I say that the man or the woman who tries once and gives up, what do they prove? They prove it is not me that they truly desire, but simply desire their own way. For I say that I, the living God, find pleasure when my people will insist and persist in me, that is, continuing steadfast in my way. That is, not thinking of themselves more highly than they ought to think, but esteeming me to be their Savior and Lord. For I say that I desire that my people would walk in the way of the upright every single day. And I say, if they fail me, they are meant to be repentant, changing their ways. Now I say this day, think what a privilege you have to be in repentance revolution each and every day before me. That is, to be made glad, ever thankful that you can indeed be walking uprightly in the truth, the light, the mercy of who I am. For I say you are meant to be in absolute allegiance unto me and be ever guided forth by me. And I say you are meant to be partakers of the truth, the light, the strength, the mercy that can only be gained through me. Now I say, therefore, this day be glad that I give to thee the light upon the path, that I give to thee the truth and the hope, that I give to thee the mercy. And I say, be thankful that I will indeed direct you, correct you, and bring you forth. And I say, be thankful that I will indeed be guiding you in the blessedness of truth of who I am as you will cleave to me. For I say, it is a privilege to be united unto me and to be guided in my way. Now I say this day, if you are ever uneasy, if you are ever anxious and frustrated, I say you are looking at the world more than you need to look. That is, in your mind, your imagination, and even with your eyes, I say you are taking in those spirits that are not required in my own. That is, you are taking in the fears of the heathen, you are taking in the anxiety that plagues the ungodly, and I say you are taking in doubt and unbelief. I say that I do not call you to live in doubt and unbelief, for I say that those things are evil before me. But I say that I call you to live in faith and trust and confidence, because it is me, the living God, who is able. Now I say it is me, the living God, who can bring the resolution of all things, as my own people will be obedient unto me. And I say it is me, the living God, who can indeed direct, correct, and guide forth the people who cleave to me, believe upon me, and trust in me. I say, therefore, this day be glad for the privilege to keep on believing, to keep on receiving and following after. And I say, be thankful that I am indeed the way that is truth and light, mercy, hope and peace provided for all who believe upon me. Now I say, this day in a wayward, a perverse, a vile and wicked generation, consider the privilege that you have been given to believe upon me. That is, consider that it is me, the living God, who gives to my own the blessedness of my righteousness day by day. Consider that it is me, the living God, who gives to my own the light upon the path, the truth, the mercy, and the hope provided always. For I say it is me, the living God, who has given unto thee great privilege, as you will obey me. Now I say this day when men will grow proud and conceited, they think they are some special thing, when really they are nothing but fools. That is, they are fools who are taken in folly, and yes, they are far from me. When I say they are fools who are estranged from the way of my truth, my light, my strength, my mercy, why is it so? I say it is because they have chosen to go in their own way, and I say that the same is far from me. 
Now I say this day that I the living God do call you to walk uprightly, and I say that I call you to be lights in a sin-sick world. That is, I call you to continue in the blessedness, the strength, and the truth of who I am each and every day. That is, not living in some sort of bubble of fantasy life of world that is completely apart from me. For I say there are many who claim my name who have no fellowship with me. But I say instead they are ruled by religious demons and they love it so, for they think they can do as they please when they please and govern their own lives. But I say in choosing such a lordship they are choosing in opposition to me. Now I say this day do not look to be self-governing, but I say look to be governed by me. For I say you are not brought forth to be independent of me, but I say you are brought forth to be needy of me. Therefore I say in every situation, circumstance that I take you through, I say be thankful for my way. And I say be thankful that you can be uplifted, directed, and corrected by me. And I say be thankful that you do not need to end in a heap, that you do not need to end in deep despair and anguish of soul. But I say that you can come forth in the mercy, the truth, the light that I provide, ever make glad for my way. Now I say that it is true that men will pay and pay and pay for their sins. I say when you look upon evildoers, when you look upon the wicked, I say do not think that they get by. And I say do not get an attitude against me because you are looking at them in all of their evil, their connivings and their estrangements from me. But I say instead be ever thankful that I the living God do uplift and guide you forth in my way. And I say be thankful that you are given the truth always, the light, the strength and the mercy of who I am. For I say it is me the living God who gives to my own the blessedness. It is me the living God who gives to my own the truth, the mercy and the peace day by day. Therefore I say come forth rejoicing each day for the privilege to live, to walk in obedience unto me. And I say be made glad for that which I the living God do give unto thee, which is the way of my life. And I say be thankful that you can be purposed, directed, and ever guided by me. For I say it is me, the living God, who is giving forth the call to all to repent, and those who will hear and obey, they will be brought forth in my way. And yes, they will be given the blessedness, the truth, and the strength of who I am, for it is me, the living God, who is well able to give to them the same. And it is me, the living God, who is well able to direct, correct, and guide forth the ones who will believe and cleave to me. For I say it is me, the living God, who is able. I say, therefore, this day continue in repentance, revolution, continue to live in the same, continue to declare the same. And I say, be thankful each day that it is me, the living God, who is giving forth the call for souls to live rather than die. For I say it is my mercy to see men redeemed to be brought into the ark of safety that is found in me. And I say, if you are thanking and praising me, if you are rejoicing when sinners are saved, then I say that you will see me multiply. I say, give thanks, give praise. sows to his own flesh, will from the flesh reap corruption. You're commanded by God. You're commanded by God to repent. You're commanded by God.